Hope you like my artwork. If you watch some of my other videos, you realize I nothing's done unless I do it myself on my, my channel because of a bad experience a long time ago. All right, talking about the gray 85 to 95 Delco glow plug controller and how to make it work on pretty much any vehicle with the plug that goes with it. So I have drawn it pretty good, I think. This one here or this one, same thing. And I got the plug over here. I don't have pink in my fancy uh, dry erase set. I have pink, but I don't have yellow, sorry. Yellow is represented orange up here and over here. But, all right, let me show you what we got. Let me zoom in. All right. This thing has four pins. They start at the bottom, down here, A, B, C, D, E. Same, same way up here. There is no A. Want to wire this thing in. Here is the, the plug turned the proper way for the wiring diagram. And you notice I don't have purple in my little fancy set either. Crank means sensing sense input. There's a purple wire if you have a Chevrolet that goes to the starter solenoid to say start. This purple with a white wire goes to that wire. If your vehicle had a glow plug system before, it has a lead for this. If you had the octopus or, um, well, that's all you had for Chevrolet before you had this set up. There is a wire that gets power to it when you turn the key to start. That's what the crank sensing means. When the starter motor is turning, this thing has to know about it. The next one, I do this diagram as in if this lug here had 12 volts on a big, I'm going to say use at least no, no smaller than 4 gauge wire, preferably a, a 0 gauge or even a double lock. You got that on this side. So this side, the, the, the relay is hot. This side goes to your glow plugs when this thing connects it. That's the whole purpose of this unit is to connect this and this together. So if this is ever not working, all you have to do is put a screwdriver right there or one of those little trigger remote start switches, put a screwdriver, you got glow plugs. So we, as you're putting this on your vehicle, keep that in mind. Put it somewhere that if, you know, the, the stuff hits the fan and electronics don't work anymore, putting a screwdriver right there or just having a remote control, that's all you're trying to do is connect this and this. This, this side's hot from the battery. This is where the pink wire goes. The pink wire, all you got to do is send it back around to right there. So from the plug, pink wire, just go to right there. Okay, that senses the glow plug. The yellow wire, which I have up here is orange, or pink, excuse me. Uh, how did I do that? Yeah, anyway, the yellow wire. No, this is the orange wire is the yellow wire. The pink wire is the pink wire. <laughs> the pink wire is hot. If you have a six a vehicle that came with a 6.2 diesel, it has a pink wire going to the, the injection pump. The pink wire, same thing. Switch 12 volts. As in you turn the key on, it gets power. If you had a glow plug set up in your vehicle before, it's already you already have the pink wire going to your glow plug setup you're trying to replace. And then terminal E is the ground. So that's it. Four wires, very simple. One loop back around, one to the pink, uh, purple wire, pink wire, black wire. Hopefully that makes it easy for people to tell what's going on. And since my writing is not exactly the best, the plug is a S-759 plug. You Google that, you will find this plug. When I first started messing with these things 10, 12 years ago, they were 
Now they're like darn near $80. The actual glow plug controller, the Delco 212-367. They were in the $50 range when I started messing. Now they're in the $120 range. So going junkyarding to find these things is a very good idea. Just get, get the gray one. Don't get the black one. Get the gray one. And you see the wiring diagram. I think I left it up there for quite a few minutes see how it goes. Any questions? Write them in the comments.